there's been some movies where, um, for instance, there's this movie called uh, Tenet, and basically this movie, they figure out a way to make entropy, you know, go back. You know, entropy is S yeah, uh, yes. greater mm. or equal than, than zero, so you yeah. can never go back. It's always, it's always increasing. Um, so they figure out a way to make entropy go back, and therefore they figure out, they figure out a way to time travel into to things. Again, not an idea that is proven by science or anything like that, but do you think something like that will ever happen some way? Um, I think, well, first of all, I mean, the, uh, you have to be rather careful in interpreting the meaning of the second law of thermodynamics, the, the idea that entropy is always increasing. Um, the arguments to that effect, mostly, simply rely on the fact that um, you um, you set, as it were, initial conditions and not final conditions. Um, so if you somehow um, find a way of, of, as it were, setting final conditions, then of course the reverse would be the case, that entropy would appear to de decrease in time, for the, for the, basically by the same arguments as, as they lead to the, the standard second law. Right? Now, I have played around vaguely with um, questions like the following. Um, suppose that I have a complicated system, say a, a um, cylinder full of gas or whatever, and what I do is the following. I assign, I, I partition the atoms into um, two groups. Uh, not by not spatially. I, I just random um, select uh, certain atoms to be in one group, and, uh, and I'm doing this all classically because because of quantum mechanics. So I probably shouldn't do that. Right. Yeah. Um, so uh, so I, I just partition them into two groups of equal size, and for one group I set initial conditions. That is, I specify their positions and velocities at the uh, initial moment of time. For and, and I'd consider a given period from t, t sub i to t sub f, so t initial final times. For the other group, I specify their um, positions and coordinates at the final time. And then I, as it were, let them loose and see what happens. <laughs> um, I've sort of played around vaguely with this, but frankly not spent enough time on it to know whether there's any, anything interesting that will come out. I suspect the answer is yes, but as I say, it's not... Uh, I, uh, something um, that I, I would need a self-supported postdoc really, I think, to work on. <laughs> Someone who doesn't need to get a job in the 